Hey folks, welcome back. I've uh, been traveling around recently and took videos and I thought I haven't done many videos of Nuremberg. So today we're going to go to the Dokumentationszentrum in Nuremberg, which is like a documentation center for the Nazi party stuff, what happened in Nuremberg and all this interesting things and evil things. So you can imagine that Nazi history is one of the dark parts of Nuremberg's history, of course. That's, um, yeah, we're gonna be a bit serious about that. But we're not, you know, we make sure that we don't forget. And we're now at the entrance. I'm not sure I can film that. See, after the museum, my mute is not really the best, but, you know, it's a dark part of the history of Germany. And right now we're outside the Congress Hall. And it's actually the first time I go inside. It's not finished. It was supposed to be a place for 50,000 people and Hitler wanted to have, like, you know, the Congress meetings here. 60% built, I think, but it's still the largest building, a Nazi building, you know, it's still intact, well, sort of. The whole thing was built on, you're part of a big thing, but you're still a very small person and no individual, and the only individual is Hitler, and everything is focused on him, and that's a dangerous thing. It's like, like you feel you like you feel like you're part of something really big with lots of people, but in the end you don't mean anything. And now imagine this: that this was for 50,000 people, and there were plans for a, the Deutsche Stadion, the German stadium just nearby, for 400,000 people, and they wanted to hold something like the Nazi Olympics there. 400,000. They never started building it. Well, they started but they only got to the foundation and now there's a really toxic lake there. And this behind me is the outside of the Congress Hall now. And yeah, it, it does look like the Colosseum in Rome with an empty lake in front of it. And now we got the Nuremberg Football Stadium just behind me and the Zeppelin Field, Zeppelin Field from the outside. They held parades and exercises and speeches. Behind me now is the Steintribüne, the, the stone platforms. Part of the Zeppelin field. A massive stand once again. Uh, that's where the field is. We're gonna go up there. Up there, Hitler held his speeches. But this is not, not meant to be a history video. It's like buildings in Iron Nuremberg and history that is part of Nuremberg. But if you want to look it up, I mean, just go ahead and, and read about it. Now we're on top of the stone platform. Let's see, you can see it's a massive field. Congress Hall over there. That's all the platforms over there, the stadium. And you know, that's where the speeches were held. Just imagine walking up here, <laughs> all the people. It feels a bit weird, quite weird actually. The rollerbladers down there playing hockey. And I think that's it for the, the quick tour. We're gonna go back to the train station now, go back into town. Like I said, that was a bit of a different video. 
not really a history video, but a bit of a low mood video, you know. I just thought, I live in Nuremberg and it's got a history and I'm gonna tell you a bit about it. If you wanna read it up, maybe I can find some links that I can put in the description. Uh, Wikipedia entries and so. And if you're ever in Nuremberg, these are some places that you should visit. It's, it's a big part of the history. Okay, see ya.